We're going to be showing you the vertical growing Big Buddha Box Cucumber Grow in the Big Buddha Box Super Room. This is an 8 foot by 8 foot super room. I'm going to show you some tips on vertical growing. Uh, it's always important we give you the absolute highest quality, highest quality, thickest grow tent available. No light leaks, perfect air airflow. Uh, what's very important when you're growing with vertical is make sure you always use grow goals. Uh, it's very important with vertical lights you can damage your, your iris, so make sure you start off with your grow goals. Now we're going to take you in. This is our cucumber grow. This is a couple weeks into flowering. We did every other plant, so it's around 30, 35 cucumbers. And let me show you these nice, extremely healthy roots. It's an automated watering system. Look how white those are. You can't get any white. They're extremely white. Uh, the way this big Buddha box works is it's completely automated to the point where you can leave for an entire week at a time. Every single level, all at once, fills up and drains as much as you want every 15 minutes to every half hour. Every other hour, with these cucumbers on, at a couple weeks of the flowering, we have them on every two hours. Um, to save electricity in our showroom, uh, we are alternating on timers. Um, this, the top one and bottom one, just because that's the way these vegetative plants are working, save on electricity. But most times when you're doing flowering plants, you're going to be using both HPSs. In the Big Buddha box, we recommend 600s or upgrading to 1000s. And what you can see here is the net trellis, is they all start tying. Cucumbers are really interesting because they do their own net trellising. They're actually tying themselves to the net trellis, which is really interesting. They're even tying themselves all over, like tying it to the cord here. And for most tomato plants and other vegetables, which you can expect the yields to triple. And the reason why is because basically you're turning one grow room, where normally it would be a hood, and one side of a grow room, and you're now turning it into four grow rooms. So each, essentially, each one of these vertical walls Imagine on the ground, it's basically a sea of green growing up. That way you can triple your yields per watt per square foot. So when you're talking dried herbs, with 2,000 watt, you can expect to yield four to seven pounds of dried herbs every few months. And as you can see, it's also not only do you get higher yields, you also get better quality. Because what happens, especially at these bigger plants you'll see in the future with tomato plants, deeper light penetration, because the light the plants go towards the light, but they also can go deeper rather than these big fan leaves covering it traditionally. So all the yield is equivalent when you're growing herbs or other uh, tomato plants and big plants. You can see the cucumbers are just starting to sprout now. Uh, that's a little baby cucumber right there. So we're going to be showing you in a couple weeks um, how, they're, how they're growing. It comes with the, the internal circulation fan that circulates the air everywhere. The, the light is air cooled. You can put your hand right on the tube. And so the air gets circulated through there. Air br is brought in, circulated around the room. And eventually, when it grows in, you just work around the plants like this, doing your tie downs. We give you a 70 gallon reservoir. And this fills and drains it uh, several times a day. And you can leave for, when they're this size, up to almost a week at a time. So it's extremely low maintenance and very easy to clean. Um, and to use. We will get back with you in the next phase of our cucumber big Buddha box super room.